Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of Friday, August 16th through Sunday, August 18th. Yes, um, this is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and please uh, keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, okay? So just because this is dated for the weekend of the 16th through the 18th of August, it doesn't mean it has to absolutely, has to, has to, has to re uh, resonate at that time, okay? It can resonate at any time for you. Um, yeah, I am getting a little bit of a later start. Um, it is 9.54 a.m. right now where I am at the time that I am recording this. Um, I did have a good two days. They were busy. They were long. They were tiring, but they were good. Um, and uh, so now I'm back at it for the weekend. So it is a little later than normal. Normally I'd be up earlier, but I was tired, damn it. <laughs> um, also, I do want to say that I seem to be having some sinus issues again. <laughs> um, I woke up with this like really, with this pretty strong um, sinus headache. And I feel it in my third eye. I'm stuffy. So that, that's just to, to let you guys know. I'm going to do my best to not sniffle in your ears <laughs> as much as I can. But already my nose is like... I don't know if you can hear it, but like I'm congested. Um, it might be allergies. I know my allergies were were acting up yesterday. I think it's a symbol of fall coming. Um, I do have seasonal allergies, um, and you know I've always had them. I've had them since I was a kid, and they were terrible when I was a kid. Oh gosh, sorry guys. But um, lately, as I've gotten older, they've shifted to where they they flare up in the spring, like in the early spring, and then they flare up in the early fall. And I know we're still in summer, but something it tell, is telling me that this has something to do with like fall coming, of which I'm really excited for, to be honest, but gosh, okay, I'm gonna try and keep that to a minimum, but something's going on with my sinuses today, and I feel it in my third eye too, something's, something's going on, but Anyway, um, so getting into the reading, I don't really have a pre-shuffle for the day. I mean, I, I started shuffling a little bit, or for the weekend. I started shuffling a little bit, and things were coming out, but there wasn't really anything being said about it. You know, um, there really weren't. I mean, yes, cards were falling out, but there, I wasn't getting anything for it. So I was just like, whatever. I just put it back, and we'll just see what comes out for the weekend. Yeah? All right, guys, here we go. For your weekend edition. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, August 16th through Sunday, August 18th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving you this three shuffles here. I am seeing pink, but I'm also seeing red. Now, pink is a color of unconditional love, okay? Red is a color of the root chakra of grounding. I feel like something is being grounded, is being rooted, stabilized even. A foundation is being built is what I'm hearing, what, I'm, what I wanna say. Um, ooh, whoa, did y'all just see that? <laughs> Wow, okay. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna say that was mainly because my eyes were closed. <laughs> um, but I was channeling and, my, and things just kind of like exploded. So we're gonna start our shuffle over. That was, that was intense, that's never really happened before. Uh, we're gonna start over, okay? We're gonna start over here with our shuffle. Um, something is being grounded, something's being rooted, something is coming into form. Uh, it could be love. It could be a relationship. That's one. Okay. For our weekend, <laughs> August 16th through the 18th. Oh, goodness. That's two. Let me give this one more shuffle here. That was insane. 
That was almost a little scary, the way the cards just kind of like flew out like that. All right, and three, here we go. For our weekend, let's see what we've got. Best messages, please, Spirit. Now my eyes are closed, so I'm gonna, just gonna let these fall out and see what we get. For our weekend, weekend edition. Okay, we're stopping there. Oh, yay, okay. All right, cool. So we have the star here. This is good. Wish fulfillment, all right? Mm, goodness. Um, I think I have to, I think I should blow my nose really quick. Uh, hold on just a second. I'm gonna turn my mic off or at least turn the sound down so you guys don't have to hear me blowing my nose. But my sinuses are being poopy. I really apologize. Give me just a second here, guys. I'm going to do this really quick. Really quick. Goodness me. All right. So we have the star. Uh, wish fulfillment. And I'm hearing wish fulfillment is guaranteed. There really is something that's coming in here for someone, for, for you guys, something like that. Um, abundance blessings this could be anything this could be love this could be career this could be you know your life just changing okay on the other side of the overall energy we do have the seven of cups but the seven of cups is in reverse and it's the side of the card here where you see this individual um it, it, it looks like he could be blind if you could see that I yeah, you see he could it looks like he could be blind all right um but it's in reverse to me, this is like, there's no more confusion. You, there's no more blindness. You're coming out of, I'm hearing, for some of you, you're coming out of a dark night of a soul of the soul here, okay? You do have the hermit. The hermit is in reverse. To me, I really feel like you're coming, someone here, I'm hearing both parties, maybe if you're connecting, yes, if, this, if, if you're resonating with this as there's a love, there's a partnership, there's a romance, there, there's, a, there's a union that is blossoming here both of you are coming out of some sort of dark night of the soul or uh, uh extended period of inner work okay with the hermit you're coming out of some sort of some sort of hermit mode um we do have the sun here which is gorgeous and beautiful but i want to go to this first we have the three of pentacles yes with that king of pentacles the king of pentacles has been making an appearance steadily throughout this week okay um there is definitely a form of teamwork here, okay? Somebody wants to work together to build something, to build a future. Ah, oh, goodness, I am getting such love from this King of Pentacles, you guys, like, woo! This either is a romantic relationship that is forming, that is on the horizon, or you have embodied, you have come to this place of just security, and I'm hearing unconditional love, all right? There's quite a bit of abundance around this individual, this King of Pentacles energy. Um, and either you have, you're holding this love for someone else, or you're just holding this love for, for humanity, for life, for existence in general. I'm feeling a very much a humanitarian energy, wanting to be a, a support system to, for people, wanting to provide, wanting to just be there, just wanting to help, all right? That's a beautiful energy. We have the sun. Ooh, the Queen of Wands is in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to say this is not as bad as you think with the Queen of Wands and, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, interesting. You know, what I'm getting with this Queen of Wands energy is some sort of, I want to say some sort of risky behavior um, this feels, this queen of wands feels like an individual who's just out for a good time, um, is not really serious about anything. That's really, that's really strange. Um, it's really strange that this is coming through with the queen of wands here. What I feel like is happening is, and I, I, I honestly, I'm going to say that we're speaking to the masculines right now, or we're speaking to masculine energy. Okay, whether this is the masculine energy within you or you are the masculine here. I feel like there's some sort of release 
or rejection of some sort of uh, feminine counterpart. Okay. Um, you know, so if you're, if you're a guy, if you're a man and you know, you're, you're a heterosexual man and you, you have, there is a woman that was around you, um, that you've been connecting with, that you've been feeling something for, that you've been feeling a certain type of way for, um, either she has rejected you, whatever, or she, you know, it's not working out. It's not coming to fruition, seven of pentacles. It's just not working out in your favor. Or because of that, you're kind of now like releasing, letting her go. I guess you could say rejecting her. Um, this is a good thing. Now it might be painful. All right, I get it. But it, ultimately it's a good thing. For others of you, this is a feminine counterpart, whether you are, I mean, you, I, I do feel like I'm speaking to someone who is more masculinely oriented. Sexual orientation really has nothing to do with it. Okay. I did put, I did pick up on, you know, a heterosexual male. It, 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 I was just talking about that, but, um, that's not the only thing. It could be, you know, a homosexual male who is attracted to more of the feminine energy, a, a feminine counterpart. This is someone that I feel like is just in it for a good time, potentially, or someone that just makes you feel excited, exuberant, happy, but it's not something stable. You can't lock her down or you can't lock this feminine energy down. I feel like there is an energy of releasing that, letting that go. Seven of Pentacles, it didn't turn out the way you wanted. Take it how it resonates. I'm just kind of, kind of throwing out random um, uh, scenarios there, but it, it wasn't working out the way you wanted. And I just feel like this was not a stable energy. This Queen of Wands energy just wasn't stable. At least wasn't stable enough to, to provide what the King of Pentacles is looking for now. Okay. Uh, the sun is shining on this. This potentially could have been someone that you really couldn't work together with, that you really couldn't build with. Um, this I also might have been someone that you couldn't you couldn't like I said before you couldn't nail down you couldn't you couldn't <laughs> nail down you couldn't um, lock down you couldn't you couldn't get into a stable relationship with uh, I'm hearing maybe they were too all over the place. But this is a good thing. Uh, what I feel like is happening for these masculines for the masculine energy within you or individuals that resonate more with masculine energy. I feel like you've gone through a period and this individual represented by the queen of wands here, this individual could have been some sort of catalyst for you in figuring out or causing you to go within. Okay. The hermit and go through a hermit mode and figure yourself out, figure out what it is that you want. Now the sun is shining here. Okay. Now there is another scenario that's coming through here. This also, this queen of wands could be a counterpart that you're looking for. And yet it just hasn't materialized yet. Seven of pentacles in reverse, queen of wands in reverse. Maybe it just hasn't come to fruition yet. Maybe it just has, it's not ripe for the picking yet. Maybe this is someone that really does make you feel great. I'm going to be honest, though. The, the strongest thing that came through was the first thing in which someone is releasing, some, rejecting some sort of energy that is not stable or that is just super fiery or just really wild, charismatic, and beautiful and all that, but... I really feel like there are some masculine energies out there that are coming to a really stable, grounded, um, balanced and healthy expression of masculine energy. And this actually, this queen of wands could be an expression of narcissistic or twisted feminine energy. And now that you are balancing out, now that you are coming out of your own twisted form of masculine energy, now these, this, this, the, the counterpart that you found in a twisted feminine energy is no longer resonating with you. That's beautiful. That is beautiful, my friends. I love that. I really love that. Okay. All right. Cool. So now let's get into some clarification here.
We're going with my new favorite deck here. This is the Dreaming Way Tarot. I love this deck. So give this, give this three shuffles, and then I'm just gonna let it fall out and see what we get, okay? All right, here we go. There is a masculine energy out there that really wants to build, really wants, really wants to be a team player, really wants someone that is, that is going to be a team player because you have gone through some really, I want to say some really tough shit. All right. With this, with this hermit energy, <clears throat> you really learned about yourself. You learned about what it is you want, or maybe you're in the process of doing this right now. And because of that, the people that you connect with, the relationships that you go for, that you go after, are no longer one-sided, are no longer twisted, toxic. You really want a partner that you can grow with, that you can build a life with. That's what I'm seeing in this Three of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. You've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And yes, there is still work to be done, but with the, with the star here, I feel, yeah, I just, I literally just heard a counterpart is coming. Someone that can really balance the scales with you. Someone that can meet you halfway with this King of Pentacles energy that you're standing in. And it's not even like you're in a rush. Like you feel this, I'm, I'm, I'm looking straight at this King of Pentacles energy and it just, and I'm feeling like you're just very calm, very stable, very grounded knowing what it is that you want and not being afraid to go after it, but understanding that the counterpart that really will want to build with you will come forward. You will find him or her. You may have already found them. And, and with this seven of cups in reverse here, and this Queen of Wands in reverse, there may be some others around you that may be trying to get your attention, but you know that's just, maybe that's just a lustful connection. That's just, what is this? <laughs> the chariot. Um, uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, a sexual connection, um, convenience I'm hearing. It's not the stability that you're looking for. Sorry, guys. Okay, so then let's get some clarification for you here. Yeah, the chariot was underneath the deck in here, um, in this clarifier deck. And um, so to me, that was saying that, you know, you're going in, you're, you're, you're moving forward, ain't nothing gonna stop you. You do have the Hierophant with the Two of Wands. Eight of Wands here, all right. Um, someone's looking to get married. <laughs> Ooh, wow. All right, that's enough. I'm going to stop there. Page of Cups. Yeah, the King of Swords. All right, so, um, someone definitely is looking to get married, potentially. Uh, you do have the Page of Cups here. This Page of Cups is definitely speaking to new love and the Eight of Swords. Oh my God, okay. Um, we are gonna talk about this. Excellent, all right, so I have a brand new perspective on the Eight of Swords that I got last night. I was watching one of Sal's readings. I love Sal, Eat, Read, Love, Inc. Eat, Read, Eat, Read Love on YouTube. He's fabulous and fantastic. I love him. He's so funny. Um, but I was watching one of his videos last night and the Eight of Swords came out and he explained it in a way that I had never even like completely, never even thought about it before. We'll get there in a second. Um, but there is a break from conventionalism also here with the tower, the Hierophant, and the Two of Wands. Now,
convention, I, I'm hearing for, for this masculine energy or for whomever is resonating as the king of pentacles, a con the conventional way of doing things is just not going to cut it any longer. And this is a good thing. This feels a re like a really good thing because it feels like the knowledge that you gained while you were in this hermit energy, maybe in that dark night of the soul energy, okay? Now, I say that, but then I also say someone wants to get married. All right. Um, but it's not about getting married for convenience or for status or for money or anything. It's getting married because somebody just wants to have a partnership, a connection, a counterpart, a partner in crime, something like that, okay? And I do feel like there is a new relationship on the horizon that's been coming through. Um, but also with this Page of Cups and the High Priestess, oh shoot. Oh shoot, I just realized. We, um, but what I was saying was with the, high, with the Page of Cups and the High Priestess, something is coming through and your intuition has been telling you about it. But then also, you've got the counterparts here in the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So we do have counterparts here. And this is definitely a spiritual partnership. All right, this is a divine connection. Now, keeping with the masculine energies here, um, overall, underneath the deck, you have the King of Swords. All right. So someone is being very, very logical about this. Then you also have the Eight of Swords underneath that. And this is what I want to talk about here, because I, I, I Sal put me on to this new definition of the Eight of Swords of like. Instead of being in a mental prison that you need to break out of, maybe you're just confining yourself. You're keeping yourself, you're keeping your mind in check here. Eight of Swords. You're not letting yourself run amok. You're not letting yourself get too crazy or too emotional. The masculine here is very much staying, staying very logical, very grounded with this King of Pentacles energy, and not devoured of emotion, but knowing exactly what he is that he exactly what it is that he wants. He or she doesn't matter. We're talking about energy here, and it's just staying grounded, staying logical. That's what I'm seeing in this Eight of Swords energy. Okay. It's very, it's very much a good thing. I am so sorry about all the sniffling, you guys. I don't know what's going on with my sinuses today. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> a match made in heaven, a match made in the stars. There is definitely new love that's brewing here that I feel like could really change, <laughs> I'm seeing 17, change your perspective. You know, I, rec I realized this yesterday and I think now that I think about it, I, I guess I realized it before, but it didn't really sink in until last night. Um, I've been seeing the number 17 a lot. It's 1017 right now as I'm recording this. And I've been seeing 17 all over the place. And I was, I, I was, I did a, like a little mini reading for myself last night and the star came out and I realized that it was card number 17. And I was like, holy moly, I've been seeing 17 everywhere. And it's, and 17 is the star, which is wish fulfillment. Are you, are you, are you catching what I'm, what I'm throwing here, <laughs> like those of us that have been seeing 17 everywhere are we're on the right path. And I was saying in the past, I was saying that, um, you know, 17 is a number saying that you're on the right path. Well, yeah, you're on the right path. You're following your inner guidance. Your wish fulfillment is coming through. OK, it's beautiful. All right. That's so awesome. I just wanted to share that with you guys. OK, so I'm going to get I'm just going to get a little, oh geez, oh geez, oh, oh geez. Well, looky here, the ring. <laughs> Commitment is coming, y'all. Let's see what else we get. Yeah, 
some, I'm hearing someone wants to start a family, someone wants to build a home together, someone just wants, oh my gosh. And as I'm saying that, what comes out? The freaking stork, holy moly. Card number 17. Guys, guys. Oh, okay, one more, one more card here, please. Just some clarification, just some guidance, oracle, whatever. What, just one last, one last card here, please, Spirit. I mean, also, why do we want to, uh, why do we want another card? It's all right here. It's written in the stars, they're saying. There it is. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, my God. This is so crazy. Look, as I'm saying, it's written in the stars. What do we have here? Uh, now, this looks like a compass, but it also, this is all the zodiac signs. I don't know exactly what this card is. I'm going to, I'm going to look at it. But it, as I'm saying it, it's written in the stars. We get all the zodiacs right here. I mean, oh, look. And then here's the compass. Good golly. This is, I'm not going to lie, you guys. This is a little scary. We're going to look at card number 16 here. Oh, it's literally the stars. Look, I'm not even, I'm not even lying to you guys. Look at that. Card number 16, stars. And as I was saying that, I heard it's written in the stars and this comes out. <sighs> Shiny sparkles, guidance, and healing is what I promise through a gentle feeling. I am reassurance, inspiration, and a new path for your exploration. Wish upon a star, for I bring hope and light from afar. Yeah, this says the stars in the Lenormand can be interpreted as a fixed course, something that is preordained. The stars indicate the need for vision and the desire for wish fulfillment. We have all heard the saying about someone who has stars in their eyes and that we should follow our own star. Therefore, it is a card of optimism and ambition. The stars card is a card that portends success and much promise and thanking one's lucky stars. I mean, yeah, for some of you, you're, you, you have an opportunity of a lifetime here. You really do. You have the counterpart situation that you might have really been waiting for with the high priestess and the hierophant. Okay? I mean, and if we're speaking about counterparts here, um, if... If we're speaking about counterparts, this is really the true counterpart situation that you would want. You both identi you you both kind of like resonate with each other spiritually, and I really do feel like this is absolutely a divine counterpart situation. I really need to get into that reading, those readings, because I really divine counterparts is where it's at. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. All right, um, and so like okay, so you have the feminine energy here, who is probably like a card reader or a, a psychic or an energy worker, like a Reiki healer or something like that. And then you have the hierophant, who is the masculine counterpart, who who does things from a physical point of view. You know, it, it works spiritually, but on the physical. And I don't really have. I don't have a definition for that. What would that be? What would the masculine do in working spiritually, but physically? It looks a lot less like what the feminine would do, like working, like, like being a psychic or something like that. But I'm getting, I'm picking up, it's just, it's physical labor. It's physically building something. It might have something to do with business. And yet the business that you, do, that you work in, masculine, is spiritually oriented. It's guided spiritually. You have, it's from a focus of spirituality, is spiritual understanding. And that does not mean that you're religious. Absolutely not. It has nothing to do with religion. It could, maybe, maybe you work in, in a religious place, but it doesn't have to be that way. It's having a universal understanding of what we are as human beings, who we are as human beings, who we are as spiritual beings have a, having a physical existence. There is 17 again. I just saw 17 again. <laughs> oh, um, it was actually 29 minutes and 17 seconds. That's 11, 17. Boop. Um, anyway, uh, but it, you know, it's having a spiritual focus that is guiding your physical work. Okay. That's what the masculine counterpart would look like, potentially. Now that is a loose, that is a general definition, okay? But I mean, guys, that's so crazy. 
There is commitment coming with the ring. It's written in the stars. Like you two are destined to be together. 17, there's abundance. There's a family. I mean, both of you want to have a family want to raise a family, whether that's kids, whether that's pets, whether that's just a community, building a community around you and supporting a community around you. And you're following, see, you're following the guidance. All right. Follow, continue to follow your intuition, continue to follow your inner light, your, your, your inner star, your inner compass. Okay. Ugh. All right, guys. Closing message from the crystal mandala. And look, getting back to what we were talking about originally with this queen of wands energy, you might be in an energy where you're kind of rejecting those that just want to have a good time. But when this counterpart comes through or this counterpart that you're connecting with right now, it doesn't mean that you can't have a good time with this person. Like, let me tell you, this person wants to have, knows how to have a good time, okay? But it's, uh, it's with this Queen of Wands in reverse, it's a rejection of meaningless connections. Like if it's, if, if it's just, a, you know, an, an initial spark and it's just fun for a hot second and then it's done, that's not what you want. You're looking for the long term. You're looking for stability. And the more you embody that within yourself, talking to the masculine here or the feminine that is looking for a masculine counterpart, you got to embody that. The more you embody that within yourself and the more you express that, and the more you, you, you get that you know, solidified in your internal reality, the more you will find it in your external. It will be expressed in your external. You will be aligned with someone that, will, that can fill that counterpart expression externally. Okay, But you have to align with it internally first all right okay so let's get your oracle guidance here your your closing oracle message from the crystal mandala all right well there are two cards i'm going to take them for <laughs> for your weekend edition you have card number five archangel or angel ehael and labradorite individuality and you have card number nine Ar Ar archon barbello and picture jasper support Okay. I, I, there's 17 again, y'all. Oh, goodness. It's all over the place, guys. Wishes are coming true. All right, look. And there are some of you out there that are, I, I feel like are getting kind of jealous. It's like, why are your wishes coming true? Or why is everything happening for these people, but this isn't happening for me? You have to do your work. And I don't say that to just to like to, to, to bark at you or to... Uh, condemn you or look down on you, but no, no, look, just trust me. You have to do the work. You have to find the internal fulfillment. You have to go through this dark night of the soul. You have to go through this, this period of introspection, this journey of, of individuality. Hello, number five. I mean, look, it's right there. You have to go through this. You have to go through your dark night of the soul. You have to find your inner light and you have to express yourself. You need to be who you truly are. You need to figure out who you truly are before you can align with your destiny, with your star, with your wish fulfillment. You've got to find your inner star, your inner guiding light. And then you have to do the work to clean, to cleanse, to heal, to allow that light to shine through. Then all of your wishes will come true. Literally, I say all that to say, you are standing in your own way by not letting your light shine. And... Part of the part of the part of the journey, part of the journey, part of the challenge is tearing down the establishment, the tower and the hierophant. OK. It's the hierophant that has put the programming in place for you to keep you a sheeple, to keep you asleep. But once you wake up and you see past the hierophant's dogma and you start to gain the wisdom of the universe, well, then you can balance the two. There's your masculine and feminine right there. The Hierophant energy is not bad. And I know I speak, about, I, I kind of talk about it in a, in a way that it could sound like it's bad. It's not bad. It's just part of the process. But we get stuck here 
because we're afraid of the unknown here in the, in the high priestess. But you need both. You need the structure and you need the free form or chaos, I guess. Uh, you need both. You need the masculine and the feminine. You got to balance both. Wow. But I hope that, I hope that helps. Okay. Card number five. Oh, shoot. We bring you the gift of individuality. As you receive our gift, you will feel safe enough to enjoy the aspects of yourself that truly make you unique. From particular interests to your way of expressing yourself, to what excites and inspires your spirit, your individuality is the way that the divine wishes to manifest itself through you this lifetime. The key to your divine life purpose is to know who you are and to love and accept that self so that you allow natural development and expression in the world to take place. As you accept your individuality, you will understand how natural it is for you to fulfill your life purpose and divine destiny. You will instinctively graduate, I'm sorry, gravitate, won't well, graduate too, but you will instinctively gravitate towards people, places, and energies that support you in being your bright, true spirit. You'll grow and express yourself more freely and authentically, and the divine light within shall shine brighter without a veil of fear, confusion, or shame obscuring it. You have no need to compare yourself to any other. You are a unique child of the universe with your own special path and destiny to fulfill. Beautiful. And then finally, card number nine, support. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> we offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. So honestly, that feels like divine guidance in saying, do not give up and please do not worry about the details. We've got it. We've got you covered. All you need to do, I'm hearing divine destiny. All you need to do is to continue to follow your inner guidance, the compass, continue to follow your inner light, the star, the hermit, continue. And, and, and yes, the hermit is in reverse right now, but what spirit is saying with the her with hermit being in reverse, they're saying, take what it is that you've learned, the wisdom that you gained and express it now. Don't just hold on to it. You don't have to stay in this hermit mode anymore. It's time for you to break free and start sharing your light, start spreading your message. Also, one thing I want to say about this counterpart energy, the feminine doesn't necessarily just have to be a card reader or a psychic or something like that. That's just one way of, of expressing it. However it expresses, just take it as it resonates. But I'm seeing a divine partnership of individuals that resonate with each other on a spiritual level. Doesn't matter what that resonance is, as long as you resonate with each other, as long as you can harmonize with each other, as long as you are basically on, I wanna say the same page, but I guess you could say the same page. Yeah, as long as you're on the same page with each other, that's really all that matters. All right? Divine counterparts. This is more than just the lovers. These are individuals that are really working on their spiritual growth, their spiritual development, and have really come into balanced masculine and balanced feminine energy versus twisted, okay? And this is possible for anybody. If there are people out there, and this is something that I'm going to get into when I start doing these divine counterpart readings, I think I might want to try and start that next week, but don't, don't quote me on that. I'm getting there, guys. I promise. I'm getting there because I'm really feeling the urge to like, get started now. I'm getting really excited about it, especially with, with, with what's coming through here. But 
If there are people out there that are trying to tell you that divine partnerships are only for a select number of people, they are bullshitting you. They are elitists. There is no such thing as elitism, as hierarchy, or anything like that in the spiritual realms. Everybody is equal. Everybody has the opportunity and the right to experience whatever it is that they want. Now, of course, your experience is going to be different between individuals because we all have our individual personalities, right? We all have our individual desires, whether you're physically incarnated or not. We all have our individual interests, yes? So our, our realities are gonna look different, but we all have the same opportunities. This is possible for anybody. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.